Hello and welcome to Wisdom Blog. In this series of uh, Terraform uh, training session, we'll be looking at uh, browsing virtual machine on uh, VMware vCenter uh, using Terraform with uh, declaring variables. So in our last video, uh, we have hard coded the passwords for our uh, our vCenter as well as uh, local admin password for our uh, template. So couple of things uh, in this video, we will uh, we will change it and uh, we'll try to provision the vm so these are all discussed in our previous videos like uh, requirements minimum requirements all stuff so we are not going to look at them anymore let's go to lab directly so this is my code so we have a, a variables a file and a variables.tf file and main.tf file so main code is in main.tf and declarations uh, variable declarations are uh, in my variable file you see here in our previous video like uh, the password for which uh, we have we have hard coded it by selecting uh, default is equal to password uh, and as well as uh, if you see here uh, same thing everything is same but uh, i just uh, done few changes like uh, domain password also i i hard, hard coded last time but i i just removed it and also if you see here uh, firmware also uh, like we hard coded in the uh, main main dot file which we changed it and also uh, if we look at the main uh, code uh, like uh, you see here uh, uh, like uh, the disk size uh, mm, like uh, for example uh, your template is of uh, 30 GB and uh, you want to add some space to C drive uh, then you can mention it here itself instead of uh, uh, instead of provisioning the disk uh, uh, same as uh, as a template uh, we can add some space so we can we can give the total size uh, whatever you uh, you, you need it uh, so at this time uh, my template disk size 30 gb so i made it 40 so that 10 gb is added apart from that if you see here um, uh, like domain name uh, is also not hard coded and uh, even uh, this time i changed uh, uh, domain admin password uh, with, uh, like we, we we just change it and uh, yeah let's execute and see it how, see how it goes so uh, let's see so i'm there uh, in that particular directory let's run uh, terraform init oh, spelling wrong so it's initiated successfully Okay, now it will ask for VM name. So let's give uh, some uh, VM name. And now this time it is asking for uh, domain admin password so that uh, it can join our server to domain. So if you give wrong, then it won't uh, it won't uh, allow you to add it to to domain and it will fail. So it is asking for vCenter password, username password. So I use the same, so don't get confused. So these are the changes going to happen. And if you see here, uh, this is 40 GB. So yeah, uh, let's, uh, uh, let's approve it. So that uh, we'll see what is going, going to happen. So now it is creating the VM. We can see here VM201 and uh, in our, previous videos we see like uh, we have uh, selected the resource pool so now we ex exclude the resource pool and uh, we are directly deploying on our uh, cluster so we can see it here uh, it's it's getting uh, deployed directly uh, it's not in uh, resource pool so now sometimes uh, most of the environments uh, they don't use resource pools in that case uh, it will be helpful uh, so yeah let's wait for wait for one or two minutes and see so its provision is completed so customization will take place now if you refresh you can see it it's powered off now it's getting powering on okay and uh, as i said yeah you can get the code from uh, my git repository i will put it in the description soon uh, whenever i upload this video so be patient so most of the time uh, we'll do it manually like in you will log into vCenter then you will uh, 
select the template uh, then you right click it and uh, then you give the vm name select the cluster name uh, a data center name then uh, select the storage then select customization and uh, then you need to give the size of the vm all it, it will take a more time uh, and even uh, if you need to deploy multiple machines uh, so it will take uh, uh, more time than usual uh, so using the terraform we can uh, we can deploy n number of machines so like in our next video we'll be seeing uh, how to deploy multiple machines and also uh, like installing the applications uh, using uh, using the winrm uh, we can configure it uh, whereas uh, on linux box also using that customization running the commands we can install uh, the required applications on the server so we see all in our upcoming videos and uh, uh, yeah be connected uh, apart from that yeah we have a lot of things in queue so we have planned to now next uh, to deploy on azure so we deployed an aws we deploying on a vcenter and the next is azure and also uh, like we'll be starting uh, new training sessions on ansible uh, that is also uh, like coming soon so using ansible uh, you can patch the servers uh, you can uh, install applications uh, hundreds of servers in single shot so using playbooks so that is also coming up so if you learn all these uh, you can automate the couple of things in your environment and uh, you can impress your boss so it's almost ready so customization is in progress So customization is done. So also we'll see in our next video like what is a module, how can we use module types of modules like a local module and uh, Terraform registries uh, like how can we use others code, uh, uh, other code from uh, Terraform uh, modules so uh, registry so we can uh, give the or uh, like uh, somebody's uh, somebody's uh, code is in uh, git uh, then how can we pull it and how can we do it all stuff uh, comes in uh, module so we will look at it so our vm is ready let's see uh, try to log in so if you see it's uh, signed to dc then uh, our customization is successful uh, it's added to domain let's try with uh, and this time I just forgot to tell uh, we also added a uh, time zone 004 let's see what time zone it is it should be <laughs> should be EST so let's see the disk size meanwhile okay you see now my my template disk size is uh, 30 GB and I have 10 GB added so we are good with this uh, so now it is 40 gb and uh, if you see local yes so it's on pst right 004 is pst so it's on domain uh, and 1.50 is ip we assigned and uh, yeah time zone previously you are seeing london but uh, this time time zone is uh, pst uh, and uh, yeah you can change it uh, if you google the time zone uh, you will get the code just you need to add the code and uh, yeah it will be it will be applied whenever uh, the customization is happened 
so we are good now uh, i hope uh, it, uh, this video is informative for you guys yeah as always reach out to me on uh, my mail id student uh, blog at gmail.com and please do subscribe and uh, yeah uh, i will share this code uh, if anyone want uh, just email me or i will update to my git repository uh, thanks for watching uh, take care bye bye